Can you hold your water? Can you hold your nerve? This is Innuendo Bingo. We were talking earlier about the names that you you just wouldn't have on Made in Chelsea. Sue, I think, is one of them. Linda. <laughs> yeah. Audrey. Pam. Audrey, yes, good. There'd never be an Audrey in Made there'd, in Chelsea. There'd never be a Barry, would there? No. Oh my god, have you seen what Barry's done? Oh, oh my Barry. god. I can't believe Barry and Linda have broken up. Oh my god, it's like so totes disastrous. <laughs> Isn't Bitty's mum called Linda? Bitty? Oh, I've Binky. It's not called Bit. Oh, okay. No, that's what we call her. Bitty. <laughs> <laughs> Little Britain. Look at that. Hi. Hi. Good though. So, it's time for Innuendo Bingo with Greg James. <laughs> I like it when you play. It's making me laugh already. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here Jump we on. go. Nice to see you, Simon. Poised, I'm poised over the bin like I'm about to be sick into it. Yeah, yeah. don't use the bin. Use his, use his face. Oh, my God, will you hold my hair? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, first we're going to Homes Under the Hammer <laughs> and Martin Roberts. <laughs> Martin's struggling with a common problem. He's knocking on a lady's door... But she won't let him in. Let's take a look. I hear you knocking. Well, Dave Edmonds there with I Hear You Knocking, of course. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you didn't know the song. Mm. Chris. Chris, it's just dropping out of your mouth. What happened? Was that it? No, no. <laughs> you can't... I just wanted to stop so you were aware of the song. Can you just like, stop DJing everything? Okay. <laughs> 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 Dave Evans there with the hair knocking. <laughs> it's so many years in the game, love. I can't help it. <laughs> I, I DJ in, in, during TV shows. <laughs> Is that what you like at home? Yeah. <laughs> I do actually trail my conversations. Coming up next, I'm in the kitchen. A I'll funny do, story about last I'll night. Tell you that, I'll, I'll tell you about that after this. After the news. <laughs> after the loo. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. Okay, here we go. Right. Home's under the hammer. Martin, can't get in. I hear you knocking. Well... I would. If I can get in. <laughs> Let's try the side. Luckily for me, there is another way in through the back door. Yes. Oh, Greg, you got it right in the face there, mate. And I just and I just call you mate. Mate. Yeah, hey, mate. DJ mate. Good morning. <laughs> Luckily for me, there is another way in through the back door. Oh, Adam there in Thurrock spotted that one. That guy, I, I feel like that's going to be me one day. When I watch Homes Under the Hammer, I'm like, mm. I'm probably doing this one day. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I'm going to be... I, we will end up on a shopping channel together. <laughs> you and me, be great. We will. <laughs> Just selling, selling like old, head, old headphones and like electrical stuff. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Go on, Greg. Show us what it does. Well, we used to use these back in the day. These are CD decks. And uh, you can pick them up for $39.99. <laughs> QVC price. <laughs> okay, so... Cameron in Hull's watching for the first time today. Loves it. Uh, Tilly is watching with her mum. Over to Friday's BBC Look North now. And in the Yorkshire area, the police have been receiving reports of unusual events in the hedgerows. And of course it's not just a problem on little country roads where you might expect it. The biggest hotspot in our area is in South Yorkshire, the M1 M18 intersection. They can be in front of you before you know it. Yeah, they can come on you without warning. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you're right. <laughs> Talking about the danger of deer running out onto the roads there. You never know. Never know what's going to happen up north. They can be in front of you before you know it. Yeah, they can come on you without warning. Dylan and Andy. <laughs> That's great. Good spot. Dylan and Andy sent us that one. Mm. Remember, if you've seen any clips that might be good for Inuit and Bingo, mm. email scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. What miss, was miss, it about? Deer. 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 Running out into the road. I, oh. miss, I miss deer. Mm. You don't see them in London, do you? No, really not. <laughs> don't get any deer. And now a favourite from last week. And oh. it's a good... <laughs> Is, is you good? missed deer. Do you know what you just said? Oh, it's gone you don't full, see him, do you? Full Alan Partridge now. You don't see him <laughs> around Liverpool Street. I missed deer. Now, this is a good friend of yours, Greg. It's Jonathan Agnew off of Cricket. <laughs> now, as we join Aggers, he's on Five Live Breakfast, and Rachel Burden is asking him about a recent news story. Now, as he often does in this situation, Aggers gives a few... Chris? Stop spraying. What are you doing? Do you remember this one, do you? 
I guess it's giving me a few too many details. An earthquake with a magnitude of 3.8 hit the county of Rutland in the East Midlands last night. Let's speak to someone who felt the earth move. Our cricket correspondent, Jonathan Agnew. Mr Agnew, good morning. What Thanks. happened? <laughs> well, I was in bed with a dog. Oh! Actually, because my wife was working late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like sparring. That was brilliant. It was like, <laughs> you did a bit, he did a bit, you did a bit. That was great. Who's wettest? Uh, um, I, I, well, Chris's, Chris's crotch is wettest, but my face is wettest. Well, I was in bed with a the dog. There we are. That's uh, Jonathan Agnew there. <laughs> Revelation. <Yeah. laughs> Greg's looking extra handsome today in his short, says Chloe off of Brighton. Oh, God. Joe on the M20 says, I'll be watching this one later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay, uncomfortable. Lucy off of Bolton's walking her dog, but she is listening. Not in bed with the dog. No. <laughs> I like, I like Agnew. Well, I was in bed with the dog. Chris. Like You're right there. <laughs> Have a little moment to yourself, are you? <laughs> okay. Okay, right, here's a new one. Over to Tom Carriage mm. on this week. <laughs> on this week's <laughs> Saturday Kitchen. And while waiting for his cooking in the oven, Tom finds his hands wandering. Then it's into the oven. <laughs> Straight over, Greg, there. And that was just me reading out what was about to happen. <laughs> that, was, that was... A torrent of water there. Literally below the belt. Okay, so oh. Tom... Tom finds his hands wandering. Ready? Ready. Here we go. Come on, drink your water. Then it's into the oven for about 15 minutes to the lovely and toasty. <laughs> we haven't even got to the I bit. Know, I'm so sorry. Is it Thomas' voice that's doing it for you? Yeah. Come on, see if you can get through it. Then it's into the oven for about 15 minutes to the lovely and toasty. But give your nuts a quick stir from time to time to make sure they're not burning. <laughs> oh my God, Chris, you are such a mess today. <laughs> His voice is so funny. It's good advice, though. In fact, they may have used some of that menthol shower gel before going to work. We've all done it. But give your nuts a quick stir from time oh. to time to make sure they're not burning. Peter and Faye emailed that one to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. You know, someone, someone completely ruined Broadchurch for me the other day and they said, just imagine everyone is talking like Tom Kerridge. All right. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they all talk like Tom Kerridge. <laughs> I don't know who killed Danny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, does Greg shave his legs suspiciously smooth? There's <laughs> Craig in Folkestone. I do, that's what I was doing last week. Yep, shaving your legs. Yeah. That, that pan up, pan up. Pan up, love. Pan down to the... Le- Get up! Hey! Oh, this is the BBC, the sicko. And now we cross over to one of the queens of Indiana Bingo, Caroline Martin from BBC WM. Mm. The woman responsible for one of the greatest clips of all time. <laughs> That's Phil Collins and Philip Bailey, Easy Lover. It's BBC WM 95.6. Do you know what? We've just had excitement in the studio. My light bulbs went. I've just had three, three men come in to change uh, or to put the power back on. I'm going to blow them every day if I get those three back again, I tell you. (laughs) It's a promise, Caroline. This time, Caroline is giving some advice to a listener on the phone. And I think... (laughs) Sorry. I think a lot of people in the West Midlands had also heard this same rumour about the postman. Listen, what are you doing for Valentine's? Valentine's, well, um, hopefully I'll get some. Hopefully in the morning. I reckon. I bet, Brian, that postman is already dreading coming to you because his sack's going to be full. (laughs) Caroline! (laughs) Someone needs to tell her she's on the air. (laughs) Again. 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 Do you want again? Yes. Okay. Try it with water, then. Oh, okay. Listen, what are you doing for Valentine's? Valentine's, well, um, hopefully I'll get some. Hopefully in the morning. I reckon that I think, Brian, that postman is already dreading coming to you because his sack's going to be full. (laughs) 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 She's on all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this is a good one. Everyone's very wet. Now we're going over to You and Yours on Radio 4 from earlier in the week. We do, we do like to dot around lots of different types of shows. Yeah, sure. And this is a discussion about what David Beckham used to do when he was younger. 
I think possibly before he met Victoria. A good example of what Craig was just saying, because uh, Mr. Beckham was uh, noted as playing with his uh, Taj Mahal to de-stress. <laughs> Kieran sent that one in. We have no idea what they're talking about. Something about maybe a toy model of the Taj Mahal? Mr. Beckham was uh, noted as playing with his uh, Taj Mahal to... Mm. Great. Yeah. Yes. Well, we've got, we've got whatever you want. A new piece of code to use. And now like the aubergine emoji. <laughs> we now have a, a classic which we have to play to Greg. Oh, Water, no. please. Okay. It's from Jamie and Jimmy's Friday Night Feast. And their guest is a singer called Ellie Golding. Mm. And it sounds like they're really kind of putting Ellie through it here. So, Ellie, you've done an amazing job. How do you feel? All those punters out there are eating your burger. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy wet today. All those punters out there are eating your burger. Wow. <laughs> yeah. More water, please. Oh, this is a this is a wet one. Yeah, it is. <sighs> oh, it never never stops. What's that? Oh dear. This is oh, incredible really? today. Oh, another one, really? Come on, come on. Remember when Fern had that chat with Ellie? That was so beautiful. Thanks, darling. Oh, and lovely Thank piano you. as well. It's called. What's your penis called? Chris. <laughs> piano player Chris there. <laughs> and now... <laughs> and now over to behind the scenes, EastEnders back to ours. Oh, I haven't seen this. What's that? What's <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Well... Barbara Windsor and Pam St. Clements. Is that like Peggy the and Pat? Is that like The Apprentice you're fired? It's basically Peggy and Pat on the sofa watching old clips of EastEnders, and that's a TV show. What? Yeah. That sounds amazing. Water, please. It's probably BBC What's three. it called? You, what's it called? Uh, it's EastEnders, back to ours. Yeah. It's a bit like Gogglebox, but with Peggy and Pat. <laughs> 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 it's basically that idea, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Pat Butcher. Oh. Wait, can, you put... <laughs> can you pull your shorts down? Water Pat, <laughs> pull your shorts down. Sorry. Making a beast of yourself. <laughs> Water, please. Pam St. Clement, of course, whose autobiography is called Bar <laughs> It's called The End of an Earring. <laughs> Actual fact. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. No, it isn't. Her book's called The End of an Earring. What, Pat Butcher's yes. autobiography is called End of an Earring? Yes. No. Facts, look it up. What? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so Georgie, who, <coughs> who emailed this one to me, was a little bit worried that they didn't know this was being filmed, Peggy and Pat. There they are, sat on the sofa, not aware there's a big camera there. Water. Two. <laughs> it's a good one though. <laughs> what are they doing on the other side? Playing Rihanna. Oh, I'm about to do that actually. Come on. EastEnders back to ours. Peggy and Pat sat on the sofa, watching a bit of telly. Well, watching themselves on EastEnders mostly. There you go. Chris, they're holding everything up. You're the reason it's five past two. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What's happening? I can't go. <laughs> it's him just going, it's five past two. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's wrap this up. Come on. water. Come on. Well, improvise. They really, want, they really want a song now. I'll see. <laughs> oh, you just backwashed it. <laughs> right, I've, got, I've got half, I've got half. I've got okay, half. come on. Right. It's not going to be good now, this one, is it? EastEnders back to us. They're watching uh, old clips of EastEnders. Peggy and Pat on the sofa. Right, good. Mm. Lovely, thank you. Nice having a nosh and watching the telly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Well, that's all gone wrong, isn't it? That is. Chaotic scenes here at Innuendo Bingo <coughs> HQ. That's a mess. That is a big mess. Um, we if didn't you even didn't... have Dale Winton. 